<laughs> you want, do you want to take care of something? <laughs> take care of you, mother. I'm serious. You want to take care of something? I was being honest. Like, no, you're just, looking at your phone as if there's some dire. I was going to put a face mask on. <laughs> For the show? Yeah. Or in between shows? No, in, like, I don't know. It's like a health thing? Or is I'm it just a trying mask? to look good, man. I got Botox the other day. I'm trying to help the Botox. This like makes me makes my face rejuvenates my face, so then I look sexy. There's a lot of people watching this now. You know that. It feels like you're doing an ad for the face mask. People. I don't know. I'm not bringing up the name. I'll tell you what though. Have you ever been to Sephora? Yes. My what? daughter's 15. Yes, I've been to Sephora. <laughs> did they tell? Did they say that they would help you with your makeup? I didn't ask. Well, they will. When they asked me if I needed help, I said no. I'm just with her, and I pointed to my daughter. It doesn't fit your mouth. I don't think that's made for your size. Nothing's made for my size. Do I look funny? <laughs> you, do, I look, do I look hot? You look like Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Hot is not the, uh, the adjective I would have chosen. Wait till this comes off. Then I'm going to be dead sexy. How long are you putting on for? For as long as I want. Well, you, don't, you can't take me serious like this? <laughs> for 10 minutes. Can you take me for 10 minutes? I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. And I'm not Tony Hall. <laughs> Look, I got I do a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. And I and So what, you just don't have time to do the stuff on your own? You have to you have to squeeze it in. I feel like if I did this while shows. driving on the freeway, it might be dangerous. Should I go should I go prepare my lunch and just eat it while we're doing the show? No. Because I don't have time to eat hardly these you days. You won't be able to talk. Can you hear what I'm can you hear the words coming out of my, right, ma cool. my mask? Or like I might have to go pick up my daughter from school soon, so we could just do a remote camera while I do that. No? I thought it would be cute. <laughs> it gave it was a conversation piece there you go well you're welcome <laughs> i don't have to talk about how your leg doesn't work anymore for 10 minutes wow Wait, i still want to talk about it <laughs> my leg does work though. it's weird being an asshole to you it just, but, like, but the, my leg does work it's nowhere near as satisfying as it is to other people well it's really hard to contain i mean i i, I don't want to talk about you getting hurt skating right because it happens a lot. And it it's happened kind of, in a really bad way. Yeah. That I could easily make fun of. But I don't want to. No, go on. Yeah, let's do Actually, it. I ate shit in the exact same place you did. Yeah. On the ramp. Yeah, but and getting back out. to why, what's so funny about me getting knocked it's down. It's not funny. It's, well, not, it's I not. thought there was something funny. That well, you could you're add. making a joke about my leg. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's been long enough, hasn't it? <laughs> 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 Time. Wait, what is it? Injury plus time equals comedy? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when is it going to be safe to talk about your concussion? I'm Good, do it. I'm fine now. To. I know where I am. I know what happened. I feel great. You when know? do you feel like you're firing on all cylinders? When? Yeah. I don't know. Now. No, but you know what I mean? Where sometimes you're you're like, okay, oh, I'm I'm in. Like, I'm on it. I'm. Um, there was one time I was here after I did the 540, and I'd skated like maybe seven times in two weeks. And then I came here and skated for an hour and I was like, hoo, 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 this guy's a badass. And then that went away. So I but was, you felt like, you felt like, Oh, I can like, like I'm, I'm good at quips and wit and bringing up stories and oh. detail. You know what I mean? Where you just feel like I can firing. You look like Hannibal Lecter. It's really, that's the problem. Five more minutes. <laughs> that's the issue. It's, it's just this Hannibal Lecter thing. Like you should be strapped to a, I would like to wear somebody else's face on my face. <laughs> Who's? Um, like there's this girl, her name's Viking Barbie. I would like to have her face on my face. And I don't mean that in any weird way. I mean like she's got a really cute face. I would like to have a cute face for a day. It'd be cute. Okay. Yeah. She's just so pretty. It'd be cool to be pretty. Not all the time because it would get weird. People would stop being fake to me. I don't know how she <laughs> handles it. But yeah, just for like an hour. It'd okay. Be fun. But yeah. What's so funny about me getting knocked out? You got some jokes that you just you've no, got in I your don't. pocket. No, I don't. I just I it, that was I was a knee jerk reaction for you. Like let's let's talk about your injury. Your your leg. I, I don't even talk about your leg anymore. Yeah. You know, at one point somebody said that I should probably stop skateboarding at, at this point because of my concussions and and my age. 
<laughs> it's either either the Botox or the max, mask is not allowing your emotions to really be shown. I'm laughing on the inside, Tony. Okay. Yeah. I laugh at that comment. I'll oh, stop. I'll stop. <laughs> you stop. You know? <laughs> you will never stop me. You stop bullying me. I'm unstoppable. That's what you don't realize. My head can bounce off the ground a thousand more times and I'll wake up quick and ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, good to know. Yeah. It's been time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Did it do something? Yeah, it left a bunch of stuff on your face. Oh, but I look better though, right? You look, you look like you have skin finally. Can I tell? <laughs> oh, it's Luby. That's weird. No one should ever use that word. Luby? Yeah. Sorry. You know what's cute? Let's get off my face. Do you see this? <laughs> oh my God. This is the most adorable gift that you can get. <laughs> hey, leave that in. Leave that in. Let's, that, that's like why Latin we're friends. Okay. I mean, that's not all the only reason, but yeah, this is from Reese. And yes. Reese, this, it's Easter. I didn't know it was Easter. Because I don't know what time is. I'm busy. And she came over to me with this knitted duck. And yeah. uh, and it's got chocolates in it. And that means that it's Easter. That's what I know about holidays. <laughs> okay. Yeah. W whatever Reese brings you that is yeah. knitted. Yeah. Like the, I, I found out it was Christmas recently. Yeah. When it was Christmas. Yeah. Because she came out to me with a Christmas bunny. I'll agree. I will I will admit that's how I knew Easter was coming. Was by her gift. Okay. Yeah. And just to know, like, you know, she's a little girl, but she is a demon on the ramp, yep. you know? And it's like the future of skateboarding gave me a knitted duck full of candy. It's Life awesome. is good, you yeah. know? Like, these are the things that I cherish the most. Yeah. And you got a little, look, you undo yeah, it. Yeah, you're going to eat the candy. No, the I'm show. not going to eat that. <laughs> Did you want to return some emails or something too? Or did, did you need to make a Zoom call? Not, I could. I won't eat any candy. <laughs> I'm hungry. I've skateboarded. I tore my, I tore my, something hurts in the back of my, is it my calf, calf. muscle? Yeah. Yeah, I tore my calf, which was, I feel like it, God told me, like, not, not yet, because I was starting to get fired up and I was like, oh, it's on. Like I might just start cranking it in a minute, and then I went to pump, not, and I was like, "Ow!" Oh, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, all right," because I need like signs that are not like mysterious. I need like "ow," and I'm like, "Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, Thank yeah. you." Yeah, you need you need literally to come crashing down. Yeah, and I've also noticed I, I was talking myself in the car today mm -hmm. about skating because safety first when you're uh, my age. You know, that's the thing. When you get older and you hit your head a lot and people start telling you you shouldn't skateboard anymore, it's like, okay, f I get your concerns, appreciate it, but there is a way to skate because it's like, can't you skate in a, in a more cautious way? And I'm like, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea until something goes good. And then I'm like, woo, I'm 25. And then I wake up on the flat and you're asking me if I'm doing a podcast. But I feel I saw, like- uh, By the way, I saw you do a whole line today and you ended it with an alley you back Smith. And as you came down the wall, you were flipping off the, the, the ramp gods or the air, the gods, the gods, the, the slippery ramp gods. Okay, got it. <laughs> the one that took my brain that day. Yeah, I got it. All right. Yeah. Payback, baby. I beat you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a fight. I feel that. Yeah. It's always a fight. I'm constantly fighting whatever it is that's trying to hurt me or make me yeah, get older. I slid out. I, I was telling you earlier, I slid out in the exact same place. Yeah. And I was already, my mind was already on the next wall. I was already like three tricks ahead of that. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me right now? I'm on the ground. That's where I was. Yeah. I was in the middle of, um, uh, I'm going to toss this, I'm going to toss this extra across the flat, like over toss. And then all of a sudden you were talking to me about podcasting and I was like, what? Oh man, I <laughs> yeah. over tossed the hell yeah, out of that bummer. one. Yeah. But I noticed that if I, I, I think about not the trick about how stable I am when I'm going across the ramp, like thinking about pumping in a stable manner and not just going, that's safer, you know? And I feel yeah. like not only is it safer, I'm smoother and I'm actually probably better. 
Yeah. Like, I think I get ahead of myself, just like you were saying. I feel like I'm like, do this, do that. And I'm like, pump nice and be stable and then pump nice, be stable. The rest in the air is like, you know that bit. Stop mm. getting all pumped on it and try yeah. to be physical up there. Just be cruisy, you know? I was so, I, the day I, I fell, that was last week. Um, it was exactly the day of two years after I broke my leg. I'm not going to talk about my leg injury though. Thank you. <laughs> and I had a line in mind and Gregson was here to film it. And so I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And, and all the first like five tricks are just sort of to get from one knit place to the next on the ramp. Yeah. So I'm not thinking about that at all. Yeah. And then it caught up to me because I, I got a little, I'll, I'll show it. I haven't shown it to anyone yet, but I got a little twisty on the stale fish, like just yeah. trying to, you know, giving a little flare. Yeah. And then as I came down, I, my plan was doing alley-oop. So it's a weird angle to go front side and then straight into an alley-oop. You can't really do that on a slippery ramp. Right. right. And I learned that I can't do it on my ramp now. What about- But if, every, what I'm saying is every other, so I, I kept skating because I wanted to get something but it really set me back in terms of my confidence and just what I could do because my body was all yeah. stiff. But every time I did that combination, the next runs, I was like, okay, yeah. landing, we're going straight. Everything's cool. Every trick I do on that part of the ramp now is t twice as focused. <laughs> yeah. And it, very, it doesn't have to be an alley. It doesn't have to careful. have anything to do with any sliding. Right. I'm just like, this area is a danger zone yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> so did you tweak your neck a little bit when you slammed? I mean, it got, I got, a, you know, I definitely got a whiplash vibe, but it wasn't, it wasn't the, I've had much worse. Yeah. It was super sore uh, for the next few days, but I wasn't skating. Actually, I went straight to Miami for the UFC fight. Yeah. The next morning. I saw you on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fun. It's funny because I, what happened was we could only get two tickets yeah, from the UFC. But then you had three people, four. No, so I bought two. I bought two floor tickets. Oh wow! I didn't know that that was available. Yeah, for a price, they're available. Flex. But yeah, it, they were. They're the most expensive tickets I've bought. Probably they're in the my life. sickest seats yeah. ever. But so that's just what happened. Uh, Miles and Riley had the, the comp tickets, and yeah. they were one. They were one up from the floor. Oh, which okay. was actually a better view because you're looking over all the yeah, people. Yeah, a little bit higher. Are, yeah. And they were just as close as some people on the floor. Yeah. So uh, Kathy's brother, Doug, and I, we went and sat by them before yeah. because we got there for the first fight. Yeah. So we sat by Did them. Did Miles tell you to go there for the first fight? We were just going with them no matter what. Right, and, and Miles was like, I'm going. Oh, yeah, Miles and Riley, this was like, they have been. Because Miles is a real MMA fan. All these other people that show up for the main event no, Riley, are sellouts. Miles is Riley's uh, sounding board. Like, he's the, he's the oracle. Right. So he's the one who tells Riley everything that's going on and who right. to watch for and what's not, right? So, oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah like, he's, he, he's like the maestro. Sure. So we go and sit by the, by them because the place is pretty empty and, and the, the usher for that area, she saw, she recognized me. She's like, you guys sit there until people come, whatever, it's fine, you know? And so we're just like, sweet, we're, we're sitting next to them. Like, we, we, you know, everything's good. Yeah. And then uh, the fight start, starts getting more crowded, more crowded. And then the two guys come whose tickets are their seats. Yeah. Like, oh man. And uh, I was like, hey, I, if you want to trade, I got floor seats right there. And like floor seats. Yeah, they didn't know they were like a few rows back. Yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but 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 it sounds cool. Post Malone was down there, and Steve O's down there, yeah. you know, and they were like, "Yeah, hell yeah, man, high five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they just kept going. So you got to stay. So we got to stay with wanted. those guys. Yeah, yeah. And then um, when the camera came up to you and film you, how's uh, that, go? that? And then they found me. Yeah, and the guys like, "Hey, you want to film?" Like, uh, yeah, sure. You know, yeah. I'm like, my kids are over here. He's like, I'll try to get him in there. And he then did. did you see Miles staring up at the screen? Oh yeah. <laughs> Am I on TV? Yeah. Yes, you are, Miles. <laughs> yeah. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, it's I, every time I've ever gone to the fights and I'm on TV, my phone blows up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because all yeah. my fight friends are just like, yeah. no, you're the. I'm like, hey. A <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Factor. Factor meals are for uh, people that are in a hurry and do a lot of stuff and don't like dishes. And let's say maybe. You could be divorced and living in a house with five dogs and you have 75 jobs in no time and you want to eat right and you don't like washing. I was going to say, it doesn't meal. have to be all these factors. You it's could make yourself anyone. a meal and be like, look, babe, I fed myself and you didn't have to wash anything. There's, or, there's no mess. Or hear me out. You could be sharing a meal together. You could that's both what, have factor meals that's why and I'm enjoy divorced. it. 
yeah. at a at a more slower pace. Yeah. 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 All right, because you can tailor it to your schedule. Customize your weekly meals with the flexibility to get as much or as little as you need. Pause or reschedule deliveries to suit your lifestyle. They got keto as well, so if you want to like be real healthy or whatever it is diet you want, vegan and stuff, you can get that customized in two too. minutes. Looking for gourmet meals? Try meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, truffle butter. Broccoli and asparagus. Head to factormeals.com slash wolfhog50 and use code wolfhog50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code wolfhog50 at factormeals.com slash wolfhog50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. But I, I, have, a, I have a funny story from that. So we don't... I bought the tickets, the two tickets, so I don't, we don't get the VIP bands. Yeah. Miles and, and Riley had the VIP bands, <laughs> and there's a VIP uh, lounge. Yeah. Riley slipped it off his wrist, gave it to me, so I could go check out the lounge. Yeah. Actually, I just wanted to go to the bathroom. I didn't want to go to the crazy public bathroom. Okay. Because it was super crowded by then. So I went into the, air, the lounge area, and no one's in there yet, because it's still kind of early, and there's just this crazy spread at Buffet. Yeah. Like next level, right? Yeah. And this dude is is with his ribeye, like with the knife and the tongs, and he's just like, like, do you want it? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I wasn't even planning to eat, but yeah. I just, yes, please. Grab some ribeye on the way so to the he bathroom. So slices me off a, a, yeah. a, a, a decent piece, and then I grab some vegetables, and I just sat at a table because all the tables have silverware and everything. And the guy's like, oh, did did you reserve that? I'm like the table? Yeah. No, these are all reserved. Like, there's no one in here. There's like, oh yeah, God. there's like two people at twenty tables. Yeah, and I go, I'll be done in five minutes. And he's just like, Yeah, sorry, you can't sit there. I'm like, oh. oh, damn. So I go to the bar. He's, like, you can sit at the bar. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so I sit at the bar, and um, the guy just got me a water. You know, the bartender got me a water over, and I, I eat it super quick. And and uh, I was like, Oh, where's the bathroom? He's like, Oh, it's down there. He's like, I go, Okay, cool, thanks. He's like, I gotta, I gotta charge you. Charge me for what? He charge me, and he hands me the menu, and the buffet is 150 bucks. <laughs> and I'm like, God. wait, but you got the wristband on. Just to get into the place. But once you get into the place, you, you still have to pay, pay for, the, for food? the food. Yeah. God, and then and then I go, I said, well then I'm gonna get some more food, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and he said, well I could charge you half price. So then I'm stuck. Like, well you're gonna charge me half price as a favor. Does that mean I can't get more food? Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, Did you I, get I'm, more food? I'm a little confused. You eat then, a lot. What's that? You eat a lot. Uh, you needed more food. You I mean, I was going to be hyped to get some it's more food. It's a big day. But then, but then he hands me a check, and it just says dessert bar for $25. Yeah. And, I, and he's like, that's cool. I'm like, okay. Did you go thanks. get dessert? No, that's, I just paid for the dessert bar. Yeah, but I paid $25 for my little piece what of What was ribeye. the dessert bar, bar like? Did you see it? I didn't really even look. What the fuck? Why not? I just, just the, I, I, we had just eaten before we got there. I want a UFC cake. Yeah. I didn't see it. I yeah. Know. Man, I don't I'm feel sure like. I'm sure there was a whole abundance of things. I don't feel like they respected the Birdman as much as I would have liked, personally. Dana White. Seriously? Uh, I mean, the, anyone, anyone that had VIP, you could, Steve-O, who else? Anyone else had a VIP band? Well, they love Steve-O. The, yeah, I know he was there, but I'm saying like anyone that went in that lounge, yeah. they had to pay for food. You think Steve-O had to pay too? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, these guys are making you look cool and you're going to charge them. <laughs> it's not for even that. It, it was more, like, if I went there and I, and we were hungry and that yeah. was, that what was happening. Yeah. I would have happily paid. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not, against, I'll back I'm off. not trying to say like, uh, why I'll don't you off. give me the food? It was more just like, I just happened to walk by trying to find a bathroom. The yeah. guy's like, Hey, you want some steak? I'm like, yeah, dude, sign me he up. He suckers you <laughs> in. <laughs> he booby trapped your ass. Did you like the fights? Yeah, it was fun. It was I I I buzzed. I watched with well, usually I watch with the boys. Wait, you do watch on TV. You do watch it. Yeah, cuz they they have they always have people over yeah, and, and you, you know, watch and it. usually usually like most of our kids are in town. Yeah. So we'll be there with How them. And we don't have MMA talk ever. I can't tell you the name of anyone. I just watch the fights. All right. Did you like the guy with the pink shorts? Y yeah. Not really though. Who was the guy that just came in? Threw a couple punches and then it was over. Big guy? The big guy. Real big guy. Yeah. Big black guy. Yeah. Yeah, new guy. 
Yeah. yeah, he's a new guy, and he's like a judo guy, some judo world champion, and he's only had like three or four pro fights, and he and he's won all of them in like under thirty yeah. seconds. So that dude is a freak. That dude's about to be a famous person. That's what, so so. Uh, Miles has a friend that's doing bets and stuff, and yeah. and uh, I go, well, let's bet on that guy, and he's like, you can't. What do you mean you can't? Because he he's too new. He doesn't have odds. Oh I wow. Go, like he's too new and then he comes in and does that. And then Riley goes, he does that every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, when you don't go, when you're in the, when you're in other organizations and you do that to people, it's still impressive, but it's not, it, it doesn't mean that you're going to do that in the UFC. Yeah. But, but he does. But people had an, uh, had a, a vibe that he was going to do yeah. that. Yeah. And the guy that he fought, that's nobody. But still, if you're a nobody and you're a heavyweight in the UFC, you beat the shit out of people <laughs> yeah. quite yeah. easily. Yeah. And he he beat that he knocked that dude out he knocked that dude out running backwards trying to get back to his feet right running backwards and threw a shot that knocked that dude out I'm like this guy is yeah, he's a monster he's gonna be he's a monster yeah he's gonna run through a it, lot of people one of the coolest things was um, where is that cheetah from Ecuador Cheeto yeah yeah yep. and when we were walking in there was a whole section of the stairs leading up to the arena mm. with just people with ecuadorian flags yeah. chanting the um the national anthem yeah it, it like it was this very movement. passionate yeah it was this whole movement and so and they're big fans of cheeto um so we were stoked to see him you know he didn't he didn't win but he went the distance yeah brandon vera is like it, that set that fight is like a fight where he beat uh, uh, yeah, sugar. I know the whole story. Okay, but <laughs> I know it now. So it was, more, but it was still like he's not ranked number two, so it wasn't like right. it, he he did beat him, but it wasn't like oh he'll do it again. It was like you can't. I don't want to say he got lucky, but you you know he hurt his leg and you kind yeah. of finished him that way. But yeah. did you know that his skull was fractured in that fight? You probably didn't see that. It happened in the fight. Yeah, like badly. Oh, through the knee. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. His forehead. Yeah. was caved in. And then that dude, that was in, I think, the second round or maybe the third. He did multiple rounds and took multiple punches yeah, to the he's face the, he's so after that. And I'm like, you don't understand the level of, of like, yes, skill, but, like, the pain threshold that that guy can yep. take is insane. Yeah, what they, I saw it was, like, 200-something blows. Yeah, and that dude, like, if you were like, hey, man, you want to fight again? Like, he, he would fight again yeah, right for now. Sure. Yeah. That's an animal. You okay? Uh, yeah, Kathy and I are going to go somewhere, so I'm just going to make you sure. you going to go to dinner or something? Huh? you going to go to dinner? I'm going to see uh, Dune. Dune 2. Dune 2. Oh, I want to see that. We never go to the movies, but f for my wife, we're going to see Dune. Man, I saw Dune what, when I was like really high by myself, and I fell First asleep. One? Yeah, and I fell asleep, and I was, someone asked me. No, but no, the they finished Dune. The new one. Yeah, the new one. And I yeah. fell asleep, and someone's like, you see Dune? I was like, yeah, it sucked. And they were like, really? And I was like, yeah, man. Like, I fell asleep. And they're like, are you sure you watched it? I'm like, no. <laughs> and then I watched it sober. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. This movie's awesome. Yeah. I want to see the second one. Yeah. We're going to see so the second one. I think it's going to be good. Yeah. I want to know. Uh, that was great. MMA talk. Really enjoyed that. Um, but I want to know about your story at the airport. Oh, my God. Where security D attacked you. Um Came at you for skate, holding a skateboard. I, I, it was unreal. I, I feel I, I truly felt harassed yeah. and bullied. Yeah. So we're, we we flew back from we flew back from Miami Airport. Um, Kathy's dad lives close to um, Miami, but we usually fly out of the city where he lives. Okay. But this time we had to fly from Miami because we had to be in LA that next night. So I have a garment bag because I have to wear a suit. It's this thing in LA. Mm -hmm. My roller bag that fits up ahead, up overhead, and my skateboard. Usually, I have my garment bag, or my usually I have my regular roller bag, a backpack, and my skateboard. So I'm kind of, I kind of have the same thing as I usually do. Yeah, and carrying it all on. Um, we go through, we go to the security line, and we're just entering the security line, and the the girl that's at the front, she's like, she's like, hey, no, you gotta check, you gotta check that, you gotta check what? And she's like, I don't know, check check something. You got too many. You can't carry your skateboard on. I'm like I carry my skateboard on. All the time. Hundreds of flights a year. I always carry my skateboard yeah. on. What are you talking about? She's like, well, you got to check something. It doesn't not. I go, I, I, I do this. I fly nonstop. She's like, well, not from Miami. I'm like, all right. So then. So what'd you check? 
hold on. So then I realized I can, I can unfold my garment bag and put my skateboard in it. So like I'm carrying my skateboard via my garment bag. So it's one bag. Nice. Now, right. Yeah. I mean, it's a little it's bit a of bullshit, little bit bit of bullshit of but it's still yeah. nice. Yeah. But I mean, it, MacGyver, really, like, it, if you will, it's a bag. Yeah. It's consolidated. It's yeah. does, and it doesn't, it, it's all tight. Like it's, it's one bag. It's, it's now one bag. what? So we go to another security line. Yeah. Uh, the woman stops me. She's like, oh, you got to you gotta check one of those. I go, check one of what? I, I got two bags. Yeah. She's like, no, that counts as two. I'm like, how could it count as two? It's like, it is enclosed. Yeah. It's a bag. Yeah. And then she's like, no, you got to check one in. I'm just like, ugh. Um, and we're kind of in a rush when we land. That's my only beef. It was just because we were supposed to be in a rush when I land. Yeah. I'm not trying to be above the law or whatever. Right. But also, I do this all the time. I always carry. So we go... I go to the ticket counter and I go, Oh, she said, I have to check a bag. She's like, well, you have two. I, that's what I, that's what I said. She goes, I don't understand. And so I undo my garment bag, hand her the garment bag. I'm not, I'm not checking my skateboard. Hell yeah. Respect. Hand her the garment bag. She's like, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. That's weird. That's what, that is literally what the ticket agent said. Yeah. I, so now I have my skateboard and my roller bag. Yeah. Kathy's just following me all around the airport while I'm trying to get through. Yeah. So we go Wait, through. get through because people so, are like. We keep getting stopped from the security people, right? So then we go, we go to the same security line. The yeah. last, the woman who told me I had to check it in. Yeah. She's talking to someone. I, you know, I hold up my, my ticket and whatever, just to walk by her. Yeah. We go in line with super windy line. We're like halfway through it. We've been in there for, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe a half hour. Yeah. And then the supervisor comes, pulls me out of line. And he's like, you have to check one of those. What are you talking about? I have two bags. He's like, she told you you had to check one of those. I go, I did. Yeah. I went over there and checked it. Yeah. And he's like, I, I go, I did exactly what she asked me to do. Yeah. And he's like, well, you got it. And I go, what are the rules? I got two carry-ons, right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Go ahead. Okay. So, so that bitch just had something up her ass. Yeah, she was just pissed that I walked by her with my skateboard. Are you listening? Doesn't like, it, and so then <laughs> I've, but also I, I don't, I'm not looking for special treatment. I'm just like, I did what you told me to do. I'm looking for your special treatment. So anyway, go through, go to security. We go to the gate. Yeah. Right. I've got no same deal. And the woman that is, that's women scanning the tickets. Am I right? It's not <laughs> <laughs> the dude, this guy. Let's joking. just say, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm re rephrasing that. I'm sorry, I'm joking. It's a joke. God, so it's the, like a segment on my show. Sorry, man. I love the ladies. I love my mama. I mean, like I got a daughter. Shut up. So the person, okay. So then I get to the gate. The person uh, scanning the tickets. It's like, oh, you got to check that. Check what? My skateboard. I'm going to snap. This story's <laughs> freaking me out. And, uh, and I go, I go, no. Yeah. I, I have already been through two security lines. I already checked in my garment bag because of whatever ruling you have here. Yeah. And, and uh, she's like, well, talk to him. And then the Tegan agent looks at me and, and I go, I go, what? I, I go, she, I don't know. I, I, I checked in. I have two carry-ons. And he's like, yeah, just go. And then and he she, was a, and he was a I guy. walked away. She turns at him and goes, you let him go. What is going on? I was seriously, I was like, what is happening? Like, why did someone like target me when I walked into the airport and was like that dude? Yeah. Get that dude. Do you think it's because you're sexy? <laughs> no. And, and, it, and at some point we finally got settled and I was frazzled. I was like, why? Like I've, I'm kind of shook just because yeah. I feel so harassed. Yeah. And I told Kathy, I go, the f like, what is going on How here? How hot am I, Kathy? What's going on? No, and then she goes, she goes, I, if we didn't have to get to LA, I would have caused a scene. Respect. You know, like, w this is a kind of absurd. Yeah. And and I, I carry my skateboard onto planes from every city in the US. I've seen you do it. For 40 years. We all have. Yeah, so anyway, it was, it was a little flustered. And it was just security. It wasn't the airline. Just security, yeah. Right. Listen, Miami Oh, no, the, the, when I got on the airline... Uh, we were flying. We were flying American. They're like, "Oh, do you want us to keep that up here for you?" Yeah. Like, oh, yes, please. Thank you. Okay, so Appreciate it's that. Miami security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. No, this I'm not. I'm, I am Miami not flying security. from Miami this anymore. Is, this is Tony Hall. <laughs> I don't care. This is I do. No, I'm not. I I'm do. not going there. Don't this worry about it. You don't have to tell me anything. You're not going to see me again. They're not going to see me again. 
This is a fucking American f- 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 fucking golden god. That's not god. what this is about. It was He's more done of- so much for us, <laughs> the world, the god. environment, I think, even. <laughs> He's helped the environment, you, you so-and-so. I've got to watch my tongue. But seriously, get a life, you... This- so we land in LA, waiting for our luggage. Yeah. My luggage is not showing up. I was like, oh, is this the last fuck you from Miami <laughs> airport to me? That my luggage is going to be lost. And I have to wear this suit to this thing we're going to tonight. Yeah. And it, you didn't get your it, suit. It, no, it came last. Oh. Like everything, everyone was already cleared out and it came yeah. through. And I was like, okay, okay right. we're out of here. Man. This is done. Yeah. Skateboard harassment, man. People need to respect people of skateboarding, you know? Like, if Andre Agassi has his tennis racket, are you going to harass him? I just hated that. Sorry, I'm old. I, I Andre hated Agassi that I had, really old. that I had to get so heated about it because it kept happening. Yeah. Where it's like, I did the thing you told me to do. Yeah, yeah. You can't keep coming at me. Y- no, but they did. Yeah, and then people are just, you know, walking by like, dude, what? what's You're going on over there? such a professional. Yeah, I would have. It was a bummer. I would have snapped. <laughs> On the third one, I'd have been like, "Right, that's it." I would have told if I was married to your wife. I would have said, now "Start slapping, <laughs> let's go." You know, she was as baffled as I was for sure. Hey, that is crazy. Security. Um, it's probably tough though. Let me try to look at it through God's eyes. It's probably pretty bad. People are probably mean. No, that, that's there's there are different rules in Miami for sure. Now that I've seen it firsthand. Right, but I'm just trying to say, like, maybe in the, maybe if you're security in the line, people are, like, rude to you, you know? Because I always try to understand, sometimes when cops are mean, I'm like, maybe you just dealt with somebody that was a complete asshole and they were breaking the law and they, like, tried to stab I you suppose. or something. I suppose. I just showed him my ticket and tried to walk by. That was my crime. All right, well, then I don't feel sorry <laughs> for them at all. These are assholes. Yeah. I was hoping <sighs> it was going to be full skateboard harassment, like, you can't that was just about your skateboard. I didn't even write it. I didn't even put it down. Yeah. I was just fighting to keep it. Yeah. That was, that was the whole thing. The weirdest thing is when you check in and you go, Hey, is this cool? The one I'm, what I've got right now. And they go, yeah. And then you walk a hundred feet and somebody's like, what the hell? And you're like, uh, the airline. Yeah. There were me- definitely con- conflicting, uh, ideas of what I was allowed to bring. Yeah. And it's like, your sec- it's security. It's like human nature for some people. If you're in charge of a line, it's like you get your ego gets a hold of you, and yeah, you, know, you start uh, yeah, regulating. I mean, that, that definitely happens. Where there's no, ne- it's not necessary to regulate. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, from the launch of your online shop stage to the first real life store stage to the did we just hit a million orders stage? <laughs> Shopify is going to help you grow. Whether you're auctioning autographed apparel or selling sleek skin, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has got you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36% better compared to other leading commerce platforms. And when we were... Selling these, we, we kind of got stuck with a bunch because of a mistake on someone else's behalf, and we started sh- selling them through Shopify and uh, finally started moving them. That's what's up. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash hawk. What? All lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash hawk now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. That is shopify.com slash hawk. Lowercase. I did it. I, I shot a TV show um, Monday and Tuesday. I can't really talk about what that was, but it was full. What? Uh, I you just shot a TV not show? It's not, yeah. I was like on it, it. Well, I'm not allowed to talk about any of it at all. A live show? A, a, a scripted kind show? Kind of a game show. A kinda, game show? Kind of. Right. Are you acting? No. I was a judge. Right. That's a casual job. It was hard. It was hard? Yeah. Because you had sh- to screw had somebody over? I had to over? shut people down, yeah. Oh, you don't like doing that? Well, no. I mean, like crushing hopes and dreams? Not really. Well, not- what kind of hopes and dreams? <laughs> That's what I can't talk about. <laughs> but we like go a to a party. F- a we, went to, we went to an Oscar party, and uh, I met Taylor Swift. Yeah. So that was cool. She's a huge fan of me. Is she? Yeah, she was super pumped I made that 540. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. 
Yeah, she's yeah. a keeper. No, her her uh, boyfriend saw me. Yeah, he likes you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was like, he's like, yo, Tony. I'm like, yeah. What's up, Travis? Yeah. How's it going? He's like, yo, you man. Knew, you knew him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I you know that they're only like the most famous couple in the entire. I didn't know his name. You guys know his name. Yeah. Yeah. I was very impressed with Taylor. Did she know who very you were? Effusive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she said, uh, it makes sense. Like, we're your demographic. We were born in the late eighties. I was like, my daughter's a huge fan. Thank you. Yeah. Did you get a photo? Super cool. No, that's not cool. Uh, no photos allowed of each other, uh, of the party at the party. So oh, okay. Not. Okay. Yeah. I get that. It's like, I think that kind of party, if you brought your camera out, you would cheesy. not be invited back. Got it. Right. That's why I'm not invited. <laughs> Who else was there? Uh, a lot of people. No, I was, yeah. No, nah, I mean, that was just kind of the. You're going to leave it at that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a professional. One day when the show's real big, I'll probably get invited and I won't tell anybody who I saw. I, I saw a lot of fa amazing people mm -hmm. and I super bet. cool, super fun. Um, I will say that I saw JB Smoove. Who mm. I'm a huge fan of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. He's and, pretty sweet. Uh, I worked with him recently. Don't let talk about that either. Don't talk about that either. Dude, I don't know, man. Illuminati, you know? Must be nice. Don't no. joke about that. That's it's some real more, shit these it's days. More, it's more non-disclosure. It's like you, you you sign a contract to do a, to do a project. Yeah. That it's not out yet. They can't announce it yet. Yeah. That's what it is. It's not some super secret society. It's just more like when they want to announce this project, show or whatever it is we're working on right. they will but i'm it's not for me to say should sure. it happen you pray to the owl thing for sure to the what death becomes the big giant does it owl look like i found the fountain of youth What's no the, yeah but that's your undercover face this is i'm like not a, wearing face masks you might be you have like a fake tony hawk old mask on wow you're really youthful on the inside wow so yes that didn't that didn't work Who's that Craig guy that wears the towel on his shoulder and he's in like a Craig bunch Robinson. of Craig Robinson. I met him. I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the guy from the office? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't watch the office. Yeah. Sorry. Well, anyway, I know him from like the end of the world movie and stuff. Yeah. So he's a real funny guy, right? He does stand up at the yeah. Hollywood improv he's great. all the time. So I go in the green room with somebody and he's in there sitting down. I think he's got about to do a show and I'm sitting on the couch and I'm there with, uh, um, what's her name? T Tommy Lee's wife, Brittany Furlong. Furlong. She's a nice person. And, uh, we're sitting there. She always says hello to me and stuff and I'm hanging out. And then this guy comes in out of nowhere and he is, I think he was English. Maybe I think something like that, but he, he had like a, a crazy outfit that was like he had like a, a like a perm and like big bell bottoms and like super expensive like Versace shoe thing and like tattoo but like just the most over the top yeah like he was in a band yeah yeah, you know, yeah. it was probably a successful band of some stature because holy shit dude really or you know at some mean? point or it's about to be and he believes it you know what I mean yeah. like it was like out of control yeah. get up but it was super like uh, like the Bee Gees of sorts, right. you know what I mean? But but right. we're but yeah. we're now we're yeah. in this yeah. now. Yeah. And and Craig said hello to me, and I was like, hey man, and he's like, hey, and, and I sit down. I'm not talking to him, leaving him to the, to his business. And he's sitting there, and then this guy comes in, and he starts talking about travels of you know his life or whatever. And Craig puts a song on on his phone that's like a Bee Gee esque. Yeah. song and he just slowly but surely turns the volume up <laughs> and, and it's only it's only two girls this dude and i'm on this side of the couch and craig's over there on his That's own a chair good move. and he just starts turning up a little bit a little bit a little bit and the guy's talking like yeah you know rock and roll we're all and 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 i'm i catch what's happening no one else does so now he's doing a joke for me yeah, yeah, like yeah. this is a yeah. Jason. Here's a very funny joke <laughs> yeah. just for you, and I'm like, 
thank you, Craig. Like, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, and it gets louder and louder. This guy's like, anyway, yeah, rock and roll. You know, and he's like, what? Yeah, what is what? Uh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? And, uh, and then I'm like, because now I'm not. Wait, was he a BG? No, no, well, they're dead, aren't they? No, this guy was like 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy was like 20, 30 year old guy that was just dressed like a raging kook. Like, no offense. You know what I mean? Like, he got if you, you get, it's I, pretty if amazing, you, though. Feel your swagger. You know what I mean? Like, if that's your thing, yeah. feel yourself. But you're a kook. You know what I mean? Like, in this room, yeah. you are kook. Yeah. Oh, fuck out. Yeah. Like, we yeah. cannot believe your pants, bro. Like, like pull up real high. Like, we're. Is as in insane get up, and it's louder and louder until the guy goes, "Wait, are you? Oh, oh, I get it, I get it." And, and, and I'm like, I'm still not laughing, and I'm just like, and I'm just dying, dude. I'm dying so hard, and because I'm not what laughing, what's Craig doing? Just like, <laughs> just grooving. Yeah, it. and then and then like the dudes <laughs> like then he switched <laughs> songs. And played another song that was just as insulting, and then and then by the third song, the guy was like, "I'm out." And then when he left, Craig and I started laughing hysterically. But it wow. was just like the sickest burn comedy <laughs> skit that nobody caught, nobody cares. Did except- you play the darkness? Remember darkness? Uh uh-uh. uh Those guys, those guys kind of look like that. He might have been. But they in were all in on it. They were amazing, like because they were just like, "Yeah, we're, we're this is it. We're English yeah, this rock guy stars. might have been like the lead singer of Wolf Mother for all I know, but right. it was out of control, <laughs> and it was the wrong room, it was the wrong time, it was the wrong conversation with the right dude in the corner, and <laughs> he just got plowed. Wait, who's that? The Bee Gees? The Darkness. Oh, yeah. the Darkness. Yeah, this guy was. Yeah, mo- that dude. Uh, I believe in a thing called love. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy wasn't. Those that are the guy. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I can't do that. That's amazing. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you're an excellent vocalist, <laughs> and you've you've performed to thousands, maybe even millions at this point. Maybe if you add it all up, and TV and all that stuff. Take it on the road. You should take it on the road. That could be our new <laughs> no. thing when we're too old. No, to skate. I did when I was in Australia, and I lost my voice. How is it on the road? <laughs> what? <laughs> Musically, how is it on the road? How is it? Do you feel it? You no, know, it's hard. You gotta, yeah. Could you do it? Like road if we started a band, hard. If you start, if we road started is a band, tough. Stop, What's up? Stop singing. Hold it. The, the people are gonna I'm just, freak I'm out. I'm just, I'm musical. I know. It's, all, I he, he's it's singing. Medleys. You guys don't know. The guy sings Harmonies on the ramp in my all head. day. He's either skating or singing. That's pretty much what. Pretty every much now and then, he's yeah. eating a burrito. That's about it. But. Let's say you and I started a band, Hawk versus Wolf, the band. <laughs> okay. And it was I a mean, joke. Yeah. But it got huge, huge record yeah. deal. Like we got to record an album. And I'm like, really? Because I know you're like busy. And it's like, well, dude, we'll give you $100 million. And you're like, oh, okay, I'll do that. Because yeah. I know Kathy would be like, okay, yeah, you can do that. Hundred million? I don't know. She's she. she, Wait, she <laughs> it's not. It's never about the money I, I for her. So it mad. is never for her. It's about so no, no, no. Your wife. If she was like, I don't know, I don't know. Hear my me wife. Out. Is, like, oh. My wife is the best. It's for her. It's about integrity. Always. What? First what and would foremost. not be? In, what would? Uh, what you're saying? Because Hulk if, she, if we band? did, if we did a band and she thought it was cheesy or something, she'd be like, really? Okay. That's, in this in this scenario, it's yeah. really good. Okay, then she'd be down. You're yeah. like you're not the singer you are. You're actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more, if, in you know, her eyes, it's like why? It, it's very much like why, why, why are you doing that? Why? Because we're insanely good, and it's 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 motivating the world to be better. Okay. And now we're on the oh, road. So we're like Bill and Ted. Yes, their their music brought world peace. Yes, and harmony. So like that. So ooh, a, we're Bill and Ted. Okay, we're then I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we're on the road. Okay, we're on the road. Would you, do you think that you would enjoy that? <laughs> uh, it depends on the schedule, really. Um, if it's relentlessly nonstop, no. Right. If there's time in between and I have quality time with my family, yes. But that's just, that's where I am. A month on the road at a time. Gone for a month? Yeah. <sighs> Cause I, like, realistically. I would, I would enjoy it at first and then I would be like, I, right, this sucks. Yeah, me too. But for a hundred million dollars, I mean, one year, 
but we'll also to to if if we're really that popular to yeah. bring that much joy to people. We'd be is, cra- we'd be is, br- we'd be yeah. we'd be assholes for not going. Right. So you understand? Yeah, of course, I understand. Right. I'm just saying, if this show gets I mean, at big, some point too, you know, it's like that uh, Cypress Hill song. Like, yeah, you're a rock star, but it is a job. Yeah. You have to go to your job. Yep. Do your job. Yep. And sometimes it's not always fun. No. Sometimes I've got to sing to the millions and I don't feel like it. But don't feel good. And you're losing your voice. I got to do it. And you got to get a steroid injection. I got to give them all. Hell yeah, steroids. I'll be getting more than an injection from my I voice. I had to take steroids to get my voice back from Australia. It's so gangster. Because I had to go do a speech. Where do they inject you? It was work. No, no, I took pills. Oh, lame. I want a shot right in the jugular. Right in the neck. Like, let's, da, 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 da. Yeah. A shot that immediately works. You're like, yeah, yeah dude. Hey, oh, right on. I got my voice back. That doesn't work like that. They don't have that. I, I see- woke up and I was, there was a point where I was on the phone with someone and they couldn't understand what I was saying. Oh, in the interview? No, no, no. Just when oh, I just, finally, just when, I, when I got home. I got home from Oz, lost my voice yeah. and I was panicking because the next day I had to fly out to, I mean, I told the story already, but I had to fly up to Ohio and I'm on the phone trying to explain my situation and they're, they're not understanding anything I said. Yeah, but then the steroid pills fixed it. it. It got it back enough that I could talk for an hour. You could understand you. On a microphone. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing that they can do that. Yeah. Right? I don't have a pill that could do that. I, feel, I mean, I feel like that's that's a temporary fix. It wasn't something that you know that I would recommend Did all it? the time. If you were a singer, obviously singers, they know how to protect their voices and they know how to do it night after night. I don't. Yeah. Right. No, you Nor got do little, I want to. You got a little amped. Unless, unless we were a huge the HVW band. band. Dude, HV dubs could be. What's the first song we'd play? What's the first song we'd cover? Possessed Escape. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Right? That is a good one. If it came back like and that, it was like yeah. so big, all little girls and stuff were like, hey, Possessed Escape. <laughs> yeah. Can you see you get radical? Like if people and everyone, all kids were into it. Never then, hesitate. Imagine, imagine if that song was, we made it huge. And then there was this whole new wave of, of skateboarding yeah, where everybody, skate. like Jimmy Wilkins started making like, you know what I mean? Like, what if we, how about this? We only cover songs from classic skate videos. No? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. As long as it's huge. I don't really care. Yeah. Possessed oh, Skate, like yeah. um, Brave Captain. What's Brave Captain? Not no, us, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Fire uh, okay. Right. It's, it's deep. Right. Yeah, like, um, what else? McRad. Uh, I know you're, you're a huge fan of when I talk about myself, So, but the video part I had in Planet Earth, Gregsy, there's a song that Chris Miller picked. I don't know who it is, but Gregsy used to sing it. Like, everybody knows your name. Everybody can feel my pain. And I'm like, I don't even know who it is. I don't know the song, but it's in my video. Do you part. like it? No, <laughs> it's the cheesiest thing ever. But but he sang it so much for so many years that I just know that one yeah. bit of the song. Like <laughs> that's pretty. And cool. I feel like this. He's got to yeah. be the only person in yeah. the world that knows that song. And I'm like, I don't know who that band is. Like, who was it? What? What? Like, wait. My kinetic faith. Everybody knows my name. Wait, you're gonna find it. Yeah, because you, you got the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, cause play I, it. You're not allowed I'm, to. I'm, I'm, I'll play for you guys. No, I just make sure that, that one, I want to know, like, if, <laughs> is that it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Because the, 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 my video part's like two minutes, so it's just the bit where you feel my pain. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and then I eat shit. Because it's my video part. This yeah. is how hilarious my video parts were, uh, like, uh, Tony Magnuson filmed me at his ramp because Planet Earth was owned by H Street at the yeah, time. Yeah. And I just got off the plane and I go to his ramp that's in his backyard and uh, I skated for probably 45 minutes. And then I did a, a cab alley backside 5 0 and locked up, it hit my knee, something popped. I couldn't skate anymore. Session over. Yeah, and that's my video part. <laughs> <That's so laughs> like when rough. I you know, when I started hanging out with Danny yeah. and Colin, it's like, yeah, I've been working on it for like eight months, and I was like, my video part was forty five minutes. I, that animal chin, the most we had ever skated for a video part or yeah. a segment, we skated the animal chin around for two days. 
And that's at the time that was the most you'd ever. That skate. was. I mean, we're gonna skate it for two days. You're gonna shoot us for two days, right? That that was crazy. It's, right. We usually go like any of those other ramps, Chris Boris, whatever. Let me ask you this. Did you, you, you're there for an hour. You're did, there for an hour. You're shooting the video. That's it. My my video is like a Del Mar Skate Ranch. That was that was an hour shoot. Did you do everything you wanted to do in those two days on the chin ramp? Or were you like, man, there was a couple more things I was trying to we do? Had no, we had no plan. So you I didn't, didn't even know what the ramp was going to be like. You didn't even have the brain... Like no, the, we, we the weren't. The video part brain. No, where you the were only like, person who knew what the ramp was going to be like was Lance because he was helping to build it. Okay. But when we got there, we were like, what the, you guys made a vert spine? Like, Wait, you didn't I, know that there was going to I mean, be we, one? We knew that it was going to have all this stuff, but I, I heard it was going to have a mini ramp and I heard it. So I didn't, I couldn't piece it together. Yeah. And there was a, I don't know if you know this, but, and this is for the hardcore Animal Chin fans, where the mini ramp is on the deck. Yeah. There was a channel between that mini ramp too. So there was a channel on the vert side of it. So the ramp goes like this. And then they, there was a mini ramp like this, right? Yeah. There was a channel right here. Why? Because it was a smaller channel. So it was like, there was a small channel here and then there was a big channel over here. Okay. But at some point, this whole wall had no flat area. So when we first skated it, with the first day we skated it, you can see it in the background, some of the shots. We are like, dude, we, we don't, we can't use that other wall unless we're like doing a trick over the gap or, or on the extension or whatever. Yeah. There's no actual flat area to that wall. So we can't set up there. Yeah. So they go, what if we fill in the channel? And I'm like, oh my God, that would probably help. And then they just filled in the channel. Yeah. It seems like that's some craftsmanship to fill in the channel and make it, was it kink? Like, was it a shit ramp? No. It was amazing. It was like every yeah. part, even the mini ramps on the deck were good. Yeah, it was Tim Payne. It was amazing. Oh, okay, sorry. That was all. Yeah. And what about the the tunnel? Thing? I didn't get to go through it because I got hurt. Oh wow! I uh, I ran into Cab when we were doing that super complicated line with everyone. Yeah. He was going down the wall and I was going up, and we just misjudged where we were on the oh, ramp. Oh, dude! And so I hit him on my way up, and he was coming, and down. I did a flip up the transition oh. and I thought I broke my leg. Like I was, I was convinced that I broke my leg. Right. Cause you probably went numb. Yeah. And it was just like, I could like, it was. Couldn't walk on it. Couldn't walk on it. Right. And so I, I crawled to my car. I wasn't going to. Wait, other people weren't helping you. I mean, everyone was concerned. Sure. But it was, I was just like, I just want to go home and, and rest and see what happens. Yeah. I went home cause it's an oceanside. So I, I drove, I, I crawled to my car. I drove home. I crawled up to my bed, fell asleep immediately woke up and I could walk again. Yeah. And then I drove back to the ramp and they were done with that shot. Oh, wait, same day. That was that day. You had yeah. a nap. Same day, because it was the second day of filming. Wait, so it you was went the home, end of the, it was went the end to of sleep the second and woke day. up okay to go? I Not woke overnight? Up, no, no, I woke up, I just, yeah, because I- You I had went, a nap that made your leg bounce back. I guess. I don't know. Was As a guy in your 50s, does something? that not piss you off right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, seriously, like my leg's sore and I go have a nap and yeah. it's not sore anymore? That's insane. So this then is the we greatest recovery ever filmed our sort of campfire shot that night. So I came back for that and I saw that the, I saw that the gap was out through the tunnel and I was like, ah, oh, I missed that. And you don't get to skate it. No, that was it. That was the second day. They te tear it down. Tore it down. Yeah. Like, I mean, Stacy didn't even have permission to put that thing where it was. So what? They just built that thing out in this field. Anybody's, it was a field. Not no. Song. Yeah, and someone came. To, Stacy's told the story a few times, but someone came while they were building it, and they're like, "Hey, this is this is private property, and we have these." They they had some. It was like a worm farm or something. I can't remember. It's some. It, Did people, you say a worm farm? Yeah, it's something. Is there some Wait, you sort can of farm worms? Yeah. Yeah, and and How also do you keep them in the ground. Then they just leave. It's a big yeah. plot of land. Worms are small. Yeah, and they're like, you you're you can't disrupt that. That's like an ecology study here. You can't worms disrupt will it. survive a ramp on top of it. But it's not even, it's their property. The worms? <laughs> yeah, in a yeah. sense. But, like some but, of the worms so came out with, hey. But this is the story. So this guy came, a supervisor came yeah. and said, what the, what the hell are you guys doing? You can't, you can't build anything here. And Stacy was there, just happened to be there that day. And he's like, do you want kids to be on drugs? He's like, what? He goes, we are making an anti-drug video for kids, for teenagers. Nice. 
and we just need this land for, for a few days. And he's like, all right, you got till Friday. And that was, that was it. That's pretty cool. That was smart. Did he have that ready in his pocket or did he just, no, whip that? he said he fully panicked and he was made like, it up. He, he said, th he was like, this whole video is falling apart in front yeah. of me. Yeah. And he just panicked and he was like, no, dude, that was actually the, that was the first thing we shot was, what? was the chin ramp. Right. Oh, oh, we so shot the, it out of order. Okay. So Hawaii wallows. That was the last thing we shot, but he knew if, you, if I've got the chin ramp footage, we've got a movie. I suppose. I don't know. Well, I, I think so. Out. Look, yeah. as a kid that watched that video, not knowing you, yeah. that video, that ramp, like wah, when it shows up, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, so we felt <laughs> skateboarding is so real. Like it's so awesome. <laughs> I have now. a funny moment in that, uh, so the first, we, we're shooting skating and some of the first stuff we shot is us skating down the hill that, so that we can see it in the field. Yeah. And you know, they have the helicopter shot and we all pull yeah, up to yeah, the yeah. ramp, but we have not shot anything yet, right? For this entire video, we, yeah. the first thing we're shooting is us skating down the, the hill to find the ramp. Yeah. So we're all hyped that, that we're shooting anything. Yeah. So we're doing like, we're trying all these tricks on the street. Yeah. Like trying to do boneless ones and shove it. And, yeah. and, and at some point Lance is like, you guys, I think the idea is that we're super excited to see the ramp. Would we really be practicing bonelesses? Well, yeah, like, you would. Uh, like on the street as we see it finally. And, yeah. and we were like, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, we should probably just be skating fast. And to get there. The next scene, we're just hauling ass. And Stacey's like, that was great, you guys. Like what, what got into you? Oh, well, Lance told us we shouldn't just be trying freestyle <laughs> tricks on so the way down. So Lance, is, Lance yeah. is like a little bit yeah. of a director. Yeah. And he built the ramp. He's like, oh, look, it's the most perfect around the world. I'm going to try my bones one here. But I know I, I'm a skateboarder. I know that dumb thought, you know, like if I'm on the way to some place, like I remember there was a full pipe in Australia. Yeah, but if, if we're really, okay, if, if we're, if, if we're really speaking from reality and you and like, your entire mission in life is to find this legendary ramp. Yeah. When you find it, you're not going to be doing boneless 180s down the hill on the way there. Fair enough. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I see your angle. Yeah. Okay. Fair I enough. Mean, it, it was just a silly, it's, a, it's just a silly memory I have of it, but it was the first thing we shot. Is that the best ramp at that time that you'd ever skated? It was on par with the best ramps. Um, I loved it because of all the variety. All right. I mean, I, lo I loved that extension. Like that, that's the first 720 I ever stood up on because I had that extension. Because you had so much speed going backwards. Yeah. Yeah. That was going to be my next question. Was that yeah. the easiest seven that you've done? I didn't even know I could stand up on it until that day. Because of the speed you could get out of yeah. the rock to fake it. Yeah. Did, so then when that ramp got tore down in two days, you go back to doing sevens where you've got to crank a rock to fake out of hell. Did yeah. you ever think about... Did, was that, did that have something I think to do that's, with the ramp that's what in inspired your house? Me, that's what inspired me to learn proper air to fakies. Because no one really did air to fakies then. Yeah. You know, it was 1986. Right. Right. Wait, who did air to fakies first? Not Jason Jesse. Was it Jeff Phillips? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, some people did it, but they but did they it right at speed. coping level. Yeah. And it was then more doing the it trick. It was more like, it, we, yeah, I mean, just to do an aerial to fakie was crazy. would have been a trick. Yes. Right, yeah. And then I think that's when I decided I have to do it with the intention of getting speed. So, how, so I started, how long did you do air to fakies before you could do an air to fakie and get speed? Oh, probably a couple of years. Right. Cause it's, yeah. You know, I think I, have, I, I remember doing it the first time I really tried to blast it was at Virginia beach. That's a good ramp, right? Yeah. Was that metal? Uh, no, nah, it was fiberglass, that was later I think. on. Fiberglass. Yeah. That doesn't sound cool. I got a fiberglass splinter. Ew. Yeah. That sounds extra disgusting. I didn't know that it was still stuck. In, it was in my hip. I didn't know it was still stuck in there. Because oh, I felt something, but I was like, I don't feel like anything. Like his fiberglass you know, it's okay. it, it disappeared. So it was just gone into my hip. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I, can, I guess I just hit a seam or something. And then like two weeks later, I get what looks like an ingrown hair, but it's big. And I'm squeezing it. And then this piece of fiberglass goes, whoop. Sick. It was pretty sick. That's so fun. And I remember my brother just happened to be there and he was like, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Like I'm going to, I'm going to barf right Slash now. And, awesome. and, I, and of course I'm like, that was amazing. Yeah. And I Agreed. got it out. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm so yeah. into that. Yeah. You feel me. So the band pretty soon, Hulk versus Wolf, the band, you know, we'll check it out on iTunes. Possessed to skate. 
Yeah, first up, first we single, possessed the skein. <laughs> no, dude, it's so good. The song just writes itself because it's already been written. But that is like, and then just for the kids to sing along, it's because yeah. you can't. It's it's it it covers so many errors. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. possess possessed yeah. skate makes so much sense. And at this point, it might even be cool again, and it might have not been cool, and then cool again. Yeah, for yeah. all I know. Yeah, I can't wait. We're gonna be huge, but we're probably not gonna go on the road. Well. Can't win them all. Maybe one song. HBW Wendy. Tendencies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, they, they, might, they might be pissed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get a model on Dogtown again. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'll finally get a model on Dogtown. I was sponsored by them, <laughs> oh. but I never got to be pro for them. Don't give up, Tony. All right. You neither. Don't yeah. give up. Yeah. Like, like and describe. describe.